What's going on, Virgo? Welcome to your reading for the rest of 2021. This is the Autistic Mystic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this reading, we're going to look at what will happen for the rest of 2021 for you, Virgo. And keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take the messages that resonate with you and leave behind the ones that don't. Also, consider smashing that like button so that this reading can reach all the Virgo people that it needs to. We are dealing with the, uh, the Aries moon right now, so it's kind of a crazy time. I'm an Aries myself, so I don't know. I'm just rolling with it. Hope you are too. So let's go ahead and do three major shuffles for you, Virgo. Let's see what's going on the rest of 2021. Messages for the sign of Virgo for the rest of the year, 2021. Messages for the sign of Virgo for the rest of the year, 2021. Messages for the sign of Virgo for the rest of the year, 2021. Okay, Virgo, let's see what's going on. So as you're about to see, I'm a little bit OCD about how I like to lay out these cards. Damn, you got some intense energy going on here, Virgo. <laughs> um, so let's take a look at what's going on. So, okay. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Let me just make sure this is still recording. All right, we are good. So Virgo, let's take a look at your energy here. Let's take a look at this top row. This is represented by your overall energy here for the rest of the year. You have the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Three of Cups. So I see you kind of uh, really taking yourself out of a bad situation here. You have this Eight of Swords. It seems like you're restricted in your life right now, um, Virgo. You may feel that, like for the upcoming months before the the, the blah, 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 can't talk <laughs> before the end of the year is over. You're going to be feeling like you're kind of tied up. Um, but ultimately, you have the Six of Wands and the Three of Cups right after it. So there's some sort of you're being set up by the universe. I feel. I feel like for some of you, um, this could have to do with a relationship situation. Like some of you may be dealing with a, uh, a legal battle. You do the justice card here. Some of you may be feeling stuck, like someone has you pinned against the wall and you just can't get out. I feel for a lot of you, this has to do with a different person, Virgo. You do have the six of wands. It's all about victory, some sort of public victory too. It could have to do with a case. You have this um, three of cups right after that too. So there's gonna be a lot of people before the end of the year, Virgo, that are around you celebrating you that the fact that you got out of this. So maybe for a lot of you, you're dealing with a health issue. I don't know why I'm getting that, a health issue. Okay, there's some sort of big issue that you feel like you can't get out of it. I can really see you getting out of it here though, um, Virgo. You have the 10 of cups and the justice card and what you don't see coming. So we're gonna clarify all that in a second. Let's move on to what you don't see coming here. You have the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Justice card. So I do feel for a lot of you out there, this could be some sort of like custody battle for children. Um, for others of you, this could be getting, um, kind of getting, lining up with something. Maybe it's like you're selecting a new college and you feel like you can't get in and you get approved. For some of you, this could be in your career. Like you feel like you're just stuck, right? With this Four of Pentacles restriction. And then all of a sudden, like it's like the fog clears and you and, and things go better than you even could imagine. You have this justice card here. So I feel like there's some sort of karma shifting in your favor for a lot of you, especially in terms of your like home life. I feel like there's people that really wanna see you win. It's almost like the universe was setting you up to deal with a difficult situation, okay? Um, you know, that's what I feel here. You have this Four of Pentacles, so what you don't see coming, you might have some sort of 
uh, financial decision to make. You might be holding on to your money a little bit, but ultimately look at the centerpiece to your reading. You have the 10 of cups, Virgo. So I feel like you're going to be, this is like happily ever after energy. Okay. This is wishes come true. Dreams come true. And you have it right below the, the six of wands. So there's some sort of major victory here. It's people celebrating you, the universe celebrating you. Now, the thing that's kind of tripping me out down here, this is the advice from your spirit guides, Virgo. This is the advice and messages from your spirit guides for the rest of um, the year. So you have the Five of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So there's some sort of shady thing going on here. I feel like there's something keeping you stuck here that you were meant to win this battle. It's like you were meant to win this battle. There's someone who's plotting against you. Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Someone who could be powerful here is 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 messing with you this could have to do with a, a court case okay this could have to do with some sort of legal issue you might be being sued unjustified you might be dealing with someone in your work who i feel like what's going on is like a lot of you here here's some you may have co-workers wherever you work wh whatever you do to make your money i feel like there's someone around you that everyone knows is out to get you like they just, they just have something against you. Maybe it's because you're so high vibrational and they can't stand you. You're going to get out of that situation in a big way, in a big way. And other people want you to win. So there's something here about someone keeping you in this situation and you don't want to go into a victim mind state because you're going to get out of this. Look at the overall energy. It's victory after suffering, Virgo. But for a lot of you, I just feel like the, the karma is going to like car. This is karma in your favor for what you don't see coming. Like um, it's almost like if someone's beating, beating you up energetically, you could have an energy vampire, five of swords, queen of swords, seven of swords. A lot of you, this is going to be your own energy cutting through the bullshit, right? It's you're almost surrounded by a bunch of different people. Okay. So there's a lot of deception. There's a lot of weird energy Virgo for sure for the rest of the year. You know, I feel like potentially this is your spirit guides um, saying to you that you have to tap into your dark side to get out of this, right? This is like fierce battle warrior. This is a victory after a battle, right? This is literally a victory after a fight. So for a lot of you, what you don't see coming, you may for the first month before, like in, in the rest of October, because really you could look at this reading like October, November, December, if you wanted to, um, you may have, you may stay stuck for a little bit. I feel like the Eight of Swords, it's not going to be an instantaneous victory, but come November, come November, you are going to sneak away with a big win here. And that Five of Swords, that person keeping you stuck, maybe even if this is self-sabotage, if it doesn't resonate with someone else, a dark force plotting against you, then um, it's going to take a little bit, but then you have some sort of unexpected victory here. So we're going to go ahead and get into your reading and clarify. I just have to make sure it's still recording. Okay, we're good. So let's really get into your reading now and start clarifying some of these energies. So the first card that I want to, it, it's clear as day that you have people that genuinely love you and that want to see you win. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify this eight of swords for Virgo. Why is this eight of swords here for y'all? You're almost like, this is like the hero's journey that you're on. Why is the eight of swords here? for Virgo. I feel like this is something that's been a, it's been a long time coming, this victory. This could have been a case that you're fighting for years. Custody, definitely custody battle over children for some of you, that you're going to be victorious. For others who are younger, you don't have kids, this is going to be some sort of, maybe an ex plotting against you. Someone definitely doesn't want to see you win, but it doesn't matter. The universe is on your side with this justice card. All right, I'm going to shut up. Um... Okay, so one more here. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Virgo for the rest of the year? Okay, the Eight of Swords is clarified by the Celebration card, the Laziness card, and also the Ordinariness card. Okay, so for some of you, this is definitely going to be some sort of self-imposed limitation. Okay, so I feel like for some of you who you're dealing with someone sabotaging your life, I feel like they're pushing you into this energy of defeatedness, laziness, and celebration. Too much drinking. Okay, you have the Three of Cups coming out twice. 
but it has to do with this restriction. So I feel like someone's pushing you into apathy. Once again, yeah, someone's pushing you into apathy, you know, ordinariness. The feeling of ordinariness is like, this is at your day job. This is at somewhere where you feel ordinary, like somewhere you see this person a lot and they do shit behind your back to hold you down. Maybe they just insult you, but they dry, there's a force in your life. It could just be self-sabotage for those of you not resonating with the other person doing this to you. But there's a force that's driving you into apathy. I'm not good enough. I can't do anything. So let's just let's just party all day, right? Let's just be lazy. Um, so that's the overall energy for that. Too much drinking, too much self-medication, right? Not standing up for yourself. So just be aware of that for the rest of the year. I, and, and by the way, I could totally see why you feel like, but you have to realize that you're one decision away from a major win. Maybe it just has to do with standing up for yourself. Let's see, why is this six of wands here? Uh, for Virgo people. Why is this Six of Wands here? For the rest of 2021. Don't let them... Don't let them keep you down. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever bring you down. We have creativity to clarify the six of wands. So you're going to think of a creative way to get yourself out of this situation because there's a reason why you feel like hopeless about the situation. You feel like it's driving you into apathy. I feel like creativity here, there's going to be an idea that comes to you out of nowhere. Okay, the creativity card in this particular Osho Zen tarot deck is really about like letting letting something come to you, being pregnant with an idea and then acting on it to your own victory. So this could just simply be an idea about how you're going to get out of this. And then for what you don't see coming, I feel it, the, the tables are going to turn for you. So creativity, this is going to, your victory is going to come from, from some sort of creative idea or action that you get to get yourself out of uh, this energy. And by the way, some of you may just have to walk away, right? This is advice from your spirit guides after all. Some of you may have to tap into your dark side, fight fire with fire. I wouldn't advise that, but in cert certain situations, right? If like, if someone, if I'm out to dinner with my, my mother and someone comes over and spits in my mother's face, I'm not really the type to just sit back and do nothing in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's hope I did not just bring that self upon me. That is a horrible thing to imagine. Oh my God. So let's move on to what you don't see coming. Um... Okay, let's move. Let, let's see why this justice card, because this is the one major arcana card. Uh, you know, actually, this is the this is the only major arcana card in your whole reading. I hadn't realized that. So there's something, some sort of karma. It's like people are stomping on you. They're trying to keep you down. It's even self sabotage. That's the ending. There's people that want to see you win. So there's people coming. You see this? There, there's spirit guides coming together for you. This could represent angels around you. There's people that, that are, you see, like, look at how this justice card is, is literally surrounded by the queen of swords, the 10 of cups, the, the six of wands and the three of cups surrounded. So justice is coming for you from a multitude of different angles. And maybe even the deceptor is not realizing how they're playing into your own karma by continually trying to do stuff to you. Why is this, um, justice card here for Virgo? Why is this justice card here for Virgo? It's like the universe is going to take care of this person, but you still have to do it too. Hold space for nuance, guys. Hold on. Why is the justice card here? Okay, the justice card is clarified by the source. This is like the Ace of Wands, but in this particular deck, this is universal energy. It's, it's what I sense. It's the whole universe. This is the universe is on your side, guys. So whatever, if you feel like you've been wronged, if you feel like you've been wronged, don't do anything that's drastic. Like I said, in some occasions, you have to fight fire with fire. In this case, though, for the vast majority of you, unless it's a very extreme situation, an example like I mentioned before with my mom... You just just sit back and let the let, let the universe let source take care of this one because it really is and it's going to happen in a way that you don't see coming so what i would advise for you guys maybe this creativity card with the victory oh my god i'm getting this as a download guys 
The creativity with the Six of Wands is you have to visualize what you want to happen and then let Source handle the details. The part of manifestation that people get wrong is they think they have to know the exact way things will manifest for them, right? They, you don't. You just have to set an intention creatively for the victory. Sit back and let it happen. Give it up to God. Let Jesus take the wheel. Let Source take the wheel, whatever is your cup of tea. Let's make sure this is still recording. Cool, it is. Okay, and then this is gonna lead this. This is gonna lead to a new profound happiness and stability in your home. Okay, so don't let this person keep pushing you into scarcity and apathy. Even if you don't have resources that you think to battle this case for some of you, if you don't have res, if you're trying to play it safe, tap into universal abundance here. The universe is on your side. Okay, so with that being said, Virgo, let's move on to the messages from your spirit guides down here. Um, I want to, I want to clarify, let's clarify this five of swords. Cause I intuitively, I felt like this is the person that they're alerting you. Like this is someone's trying to keep you down. Why is this five of swords here? Others of you, you have to fight fire with fire, but I wouldn't really advise that unless you have to. Why is the five of swords here? You have the past lives card here, so this could be a past life relationship. It would make sense. Past life enemy. That's a good title. Past life enemy for this reading. Why is this five of swords here? Okay, understanding. Yeah, you have the understanding that someone's trying to fuck with you. Excuse my French. Someone's trying to mess with you. You have the understanding now. And you have the understanding that you, you can set yourself free. You see how this person is like in a mini cage? The bird is realizing that the cage was always open. There's a creative act that you can do. Instead of falling into victim consciousness and feeling like this person really has control over your reality, send them love. You guys want to know the best way to protect your energy? Is to literally send someone love. Because what you put out is what you get back. That's the higher dimensional thinking. Fourth dimensional, fifth dimensional thinking. So don't fight fire with fire. Let the universe take care of it. If someone's, if, that's why Jesus says, love your enemies. Because when you love your enemies, you extinguish their fire. Right now, someone's feeding on you. Right now, you're falling into this past life enemy's trap. You really are. You're letting them drive you to alcohol, which then further invites demons. Have love for this enemy because ultimately they're pushing you to something that you couldn't have before. Within every adversity lies the seed of an equivalent advantage. So thank this person for allowing your highest destiny to unfold synchronistically. Okay, hold on. I just have to write something down before I forget it. And then we're going to clarify the rest of your reading. I'm just writing past life and then me. Sorry. Okay. So this queen of swords is, is saying to me that you have to be just and fair Okay, um, but I, I really do want to clarify. I feel like this is someone coming to your aid as well. Potentially someone in your family. Remember, this is protecting your justice. Well, let's clarify the seven of seven of uh, swords because I feel like I, I'm intuiting that this is an action that you have to take. Because, um, yeah, let's see. Why is the seven of swords here? Yeah, you have the rebel card. You might have to do something a little unconventional while still holding space for this person. And by the way, if you're someone who this person is literally screwing you over, don't just have love for them. You can only do that. You can only wish someone well, even if you hate them, if you're at that, if you're ready to do it. Don't force yourself to forgive someone, Virgo. Don't force yourself to love someone that you actually hate. Okay, because remember, you guys are in apathy. What, what, what is the emotion above apathy? It's anger. So some of you have to get angry. Some of you, there's an understanding you have to fight fire with fire. You have to know yourself because I'm reading for a bunch of different Virgos here. But you're dealing with a similar situation. So why is the Seven of Swords here? For Virgo. Why is this Seven of Swords here? Okay, we have the fighting card. So you gotta walk away, like... I do feel like you have to walk away from any fighting, ultimately. You have to know yourself. So maybe you have to punch a pillow. Like you have to let yourself express emotions because this would also say err on, the, err on the side of caution, justice. 
don't like try to kill somebody guys don't try to kill somebody okay fighting walk away from fighting sometimes it's not it's not worth it guys sometimes you have to know the situation okay i do martial arts myself but i'm not looking to get into a fight i learned to fight so i don't have to fight the true martial artist learns to fight so they do not have to fight so that's what you need to do. You need to, there's some sort of deception fighting you got to walk away from. No more apathy. So it's like a nuance. There's a nuanced understanding here. Um, I want to clarify one more. Why is this fighting card in the seventh person for the message from your spirit guides? This is down and... This is, well, you guys are an earth, earth sign. I'm a double earth sign. That's why I'm not just like, oh, it's lollipops and rainbows. Okay, <laughs> so Seven of Swords is clarified by the clinging to the past and the courage. So you got to have courage to walk away from something that no longer serves you. If this mean, if you're in an abusive situation, if someone's abusing you here, sometimes you have to sleep on a, a friend's couch to get away from something. You have to have courage, strength to remain calm. Don't let your ego overtake you. Don't cling to the past out of fear. A lot of you, this is a domestic situation. Maybe the cops are involved. I don't know. This is dark, though. But you guys, honestly, um, I want to pull one more bonus thing for you guys. Let's look at what frequency. This is a Teal Swan Frequency Tarot deck. Let's look at what frequency you need to embody to really pull yourself out of this difficult situation. Okay, we have sexuality. A lot of you guys may be suppressing your sexuality. Your sexual energy is your powerhouse energy. Hold on, though. Let me make sure this is still recording. Okay, we're good. Sexuality. This has to do with potentially you're being sexually abused, some of you. Damn. Okay, maybe you have to admit that. I, I, maybe that's just, that's probably not for a lot of people. For someone, maybe. Okay, let's put it back in the deck. If it wants to pop out again, it can. What frequency can Virgo embody to really, to really raise their glass? Because this is where you're going. You're going to the Three of Cups, guys. What frequency can Virgo embody to really heal themselves and make it out of the situation with grace, with synchronicity, with love. Okay, we have productivity. Get out of apathy. All right, there's definitely stuff you have to do physically here. Creative victory, right? Productivity, visualization. And then taking the subsequent action that is aligned with that visualization. Nostalgia. You got to let go of nostalgia. Remember, clinging to the past. Maybe some of you have to visualize a time in your life where you did overcome something, okay? Because you can always tap into past victories. I would say tap into the times where you did get yourself out of a situation. Positive focus. Let's just do one more. Yeah, empowerment. This is really the whole energy, empowerment. Realize there's people around you that are going to guide you through whatever situation you're dealing with, Virgo. Damn, this was an intense reading. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that. But I hope you have a great rest of your year. If you want more information on your situation, feel free to book a personal reading with me so we can dive into it for your specific situation. Also, I offer spiritual coaching if this is an ongoing thing that you're going to need more support than just a reading. So with that being said, Virgo, definitely subscribe to the channel for more if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you later. Have a great rest of your year. Peace.